There's a problem with that in personal trainers now at the gym. So I'm not going to name the gym because I don't want to call them out or like give them a bad reputation. But there's a corporate gym that has when you sign up part of the membership fee is that you get a trainer. That's like part of the membership fee. Um, the trainer I the particular trainer I got was young. He looked like he was like 24, 25, and I'm 35. I might have been like 33 at the time, but it, there was an age gap, obviously. He was a young, like 10, 15 years younger than me. He was on his phone the whole fucking time like, oh, training sucks. me, and I was like, this is like like I could be injuring myself. Like yeah. I am I am a client. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm like you're I'm I'm learning these new exercises. I don't know what I'm doing. And he kind of had an attitude like I was annoying him. <laughs> like like he had this attitude. Like I'd be he he just he, he only spoke in like little like he couldn't form a full sentence. Uh -huh. Like he would speak in like words. He would go just press. And I just like like I and I'm like what? And well, I'm like, I think those trainers that come with those gym <laughs> memberships are usually like the, they're not paid well. They're not paid well, and they might be like it might be like just them getting their start, or they might not be the yeah. the best. But trainer. I don't know. Like it's I do think it's a general like it's a it's a change in mentality from younger kids because if I was I remember when I was 16, 17, whatever, started working. I, if I knew I was a trainer, I would have taken it very seriously. I would be like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I want to be the best trainer. Even if I wasn't getting paid well, it's my first job. Like, uh, yeah. I would have taken it seriously. But he was just kind of like, he goes, chest press. And I and I looked at him and I'm like, what What about a chest press? And he goes, he just rolled his eyes at me. He goes, oh, like he had to like get off his phone oh, and there, help me. There's and I'm something like, about I'm like, their work what? ethic yeah. for sure. I remember, you know, in my 20s, mm -hmm. I might have been a mess in every single way, but not when it came to work. I always made sure I yeah. worked I was not afraid to work. I'll work, you know, if mm -hmm. I couldn't, if I didn't have access to a full-time job, happy to work three part-time jobs, yeah. make my money, save my money. Um, <laughs> there's a saying that I heard younger people use, uh, act your wage, which I get it. You know, if someone is paying you shit, uh, you're not going to kill aware. yourself. Yeah. Which yeah. I, I get that in, in some ways, but I, I think the danger to that, if I, you know, playing devil's advocate would be, you know, your first job is never great, but like you said, you just work your ass off because it's your first job and you, well, right? That, that's what I mean. Like, you're, you're, especially you're if it's a per, like I would imagine somebody who's a personal trainer aspires to be a better personal trainer. So I would think if that's one of your first jobs, that would be a great you first job. Yeah, exactly. So you like, I, I mean? guess if, if you're acting your wage, so to speak, meaning if you're not getting paid well, you're not going to be a good employee, yeah. then how are you going to ever progress? How are you going to ever sort of learn. work, work the ranks? Learn. How are you yeah. going to learn? Yeah. Uh, uh, how are you gonna, you know, maybe prove yourself? And okay, now I'm, I'm at the bottom of, of the chain here. But despite my low pay, I'm, go I'm gonna work hard and become, yeah. I don't know, maybe the manager. And now it's better pay. And now you have managerial experience. Yeah. And, and if you still hate that place that you're working, maybe you go to a different place and you can have a set, resume. Yes, yeah. you have a resume. Maybe you have a good reference because you were a good worker in your, per you know, yeah. things like that. I, and, and I think that also contributes to not really growing in some yeah. sort of uh, career oriented fashion. There, there definitely is some wisdom to like ask to get paid more but i feel like you kind of have to earn you have to earn it you, you can't to, like as an adult woman i'm at this point where i'm like wait a second i need to get paid but i've worked like i've i've developed my sk skills and you don't just like walk in as 16 years old like pay me. <laughs> yeah like, yeah you, yeah you, just because i exist like yeah. you need to you need to like be a person of value to get to have the value <laughs> you know you know if if you're obviously if you're older you have a kid to feed um and you're in the unfortunate situation of only being able to work, you know, at a place that pays you unfair wages like Walmart and stuff like that. You're like trapped in a situation. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a whole lot of other things that comes with that, like factors. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and and and, and people who might be, you know, if, if you're if you're sort of a, a, a person of of a marginalized background, and you you know, unfortunately, you didn't grow up with the uh, yeah, you know, perk of of being handed opportunity and mm -hmm. you know maybe having college paid for you and you can have you know a, a higher level of a degree and yeah. you know I'm, I'm talking about people who have these sort of opportunities but they're just kind of phoning in they're phoning in their lives at a kind of a young age and i, I can't imagine i can't imagine what just gonna be like when they're 50. Mm -hmm.